Christopher Knight's Rome campsite is about a mile through the mud and then another 200 feet into the woods. And it wasn't just media members who wanted to see. Dave and Louise Peru have had countless items stolen from them over the years. We had some utensils and stuff that he stole from us at one point in time. And not that they're worth any money, but it would have been nice to see if our stuff was there. Would have been. But when we were about 200 feet from the campsite, state police had bad news. And we'll meet you back down to um, the camp. The landowner changed his mind about letting us in. We'd have to go back. I was like, are you kidding me? Well, we got to respect the landowner. If that's what the landowner wants, then we have to respect that, I guess. Uh, could have told us before we took the height. But. <laughs> but we did get to see what was in that campsite as state police hauled barrel after barrel of allegedly stolen goods into the Pine Tree Camp. The camp has been dismantled. So what did the North Pond Hermit have? Tents, sleeping bags, kitchen supplies, watches and watches, Game Boys and games, just about anything you'd think to have at camp. He has hauled a mattress up there, and we know the mattress was taken from here. He actually used a canoe to go across the lake, and then he hiked it up into the woods, but he hiked a mattress. And it's clear he was in this for the long haul. He chose a campsite well shielded from weather and from view. I think his whole thought process was not how do I survive today or how do I survive this week, but how do I survive through the winter that's coming in the weather changes. New supplies? just a moderate hike away. He did tell me that he rotates his tent, so after a while when the tent goes bad, he just puts up a new one. But then again, he can find a new one in your garage or a garage here or across the lake. So we have some answers as to how the hermit lived, but why? And what does he do now? I think this is as much of a shock to him after being in solitude for so many years as it is to us to try to comprehend what's going on inside his mind and where is he going to, what's his life, what's ahead of him in life. I don't know if he could answer that, to be honest with you.